Hello students, welcome to my channel online biology tutorials. We are just starting a new video from chapter number 6 life processes and in this video we are going to study what are unicellular and multicellular organisms, right? So uni always means single and cellular always means cells right or celled so the organisms that are made up of one cell or a single cell they will be falling in the category of unicellular whereas multi means many and cellular means cell so all the organism that are being made up of many cells they fall in the category of multicellular so unicellular organisms they are more primitive when life originated on earth these were the simple organisms that came to the earth long way back so unicellular organisms are more primitive and we should know the examples of unicellular organisms bacteria falls in this category even amoeba is unicellular and paramecium too is unicellular. All these names should be learned by you because they are being used in your NCRT. Now in the case of multicellular organisms, we are also required to learn the names of few multicellular organisms. Human beings fall in this category because we have many cells in our body. Another thing, another example includes the plants. So I hope the difference is clear to you. Unicellular organisms will be made up of just a cell, whereas multicellular organisms will be made up of many cells. Another thing that I should mention here is division of labor. Division of labor refers to the division of work, right? We have many cells in our body and there are some cells which are similar in structure and function. So they group together to form the tissue as I talked about it in the previous video, right? So we have division of labor. So division of labor is very much present in the multicellular organisms, right? division of labor is present in multicellular organisms because the cells they divide their work by grouping them in a tissue whereas division of labor is absent in the unicellular organisms why is it absent because there is just one cell which is responsible for the sustainability of that organism to make that organism alive, only one cell is responsible. So because there is no other cell or no group of cells that are there that can form the tissue, so unicellular organism will just have a cell. That cell will do the function of circulation, respiration, excretion, digestion, reproduction and so on on its own. Whereas in multicellular organisms, we have seen in the previous video that organs, tissues and cells are specific for specific organ system. This is known as division of labor. So division of labor means the division of work. It is absent in the case of unicellular organisms but it is present in the case of multicellular organisms. In this video we talked about just unicellular and multicellular organisms. So my question for the video is that give any two examples of multicellular organisms whose names were not taken in the video. So you need to give any two examples of the multicellular organisms 
whose examples were not taken in this video. You can write your answers in the comment section of this video. Whether it would be right or wrong, I will be definitely responding back with a comment. And moreover, your name will be taken in the upcoming video. So, this is all for today's video. See you in next video with some more learning. Till then, do like, share, comment to my video. Thank you.